Ladies, gentlemen, I realize that I've talked a lot about small angle scattering, but I haven't actually shown you an instrument. Um, so I'd like to show you the different components of this instrument, uh, starting with the X-ray source. Now this particular X-ray source is a rotating anode type. Um, it consists of three components. Uh, we have the actual X-ray source over here. Uh, we have the high voltage power supply here. And we have the cooling system right over here. Now after the X-ray source over here, we have the optics, and the optics in this case have two functions. The first function is that it reduces the polar chromaticity of the X-rays emitted by the source. Uh, and this will lead to mostly monochromatic radiation. The second function is that this, uh, these optics are slightly bent, so that the X-rays that come out of it are actually mostly uh, uh, emitted in parallel. After the optics come the, comes the collimation system. Now this collimation system consists of pinholes, which are small plates with a hole drilled through it. Uh, you insert the pinholes manually uh, over here, so if you want to change the size of the, of the X-ray beam, you need to manually change the pinholes. And after this you align the pinholes by means of these micrometer screws here, here and over there. So this system has three pinholes, which is the standard number of pinholes for any sort of 1990s instrument. Let me open this chamber for a moment. So here we have the sample chamber. So inside the sample chamber we can mount our sample and with the large translation stage we can move it backwards and forwards and up and down. It's just a glorified vacuum box really. Now, after the sample, we have a flight tube, and this flight tube is nothing more than an empty vacuum tube uh, to create some distance uh, between the detector and our sample. So this way, we can measure to small angles. After, at the very end of the flight tube, we have the beam stop. The beam stop sits over here. It's connected with uh, wires and springs, um, and it can be adjusted again with these micrometers over here and here. Now this particular instrument doesn't have an exit window, but has the detector mounted directly against the vacuum. Uh, this detector is a wire detector, which I've complained about before. It is an old style detector, and it can give you good data, but you need to be very careful with your data corrections. So that's it. As you can see, it's a very straightforward instrument, uh, but nevertheless, I hope that I've been able to explain a little bit about it. Thank you very much for listening.